My name is Judy Kibinge from DocuBox. And Judy, what is DocuBox? DocuBox is the region's uh, very first documentary film fund. We set up what well, we set up in 2012 and began to support films in in 2013. And you don't just support films, you also do screenings and you're setting up a, a hub. Despite having supported, I think, over, over 24 different projects in, in the last um, four years, many of them which are sort of approaching completion now, we also have monthly screenings with Q&As. Uh, we screen in, in campuses, we've screened in, in schools. Uh, we like to sort of promote the documentary genre, which in the world of film in East Africa seems to kind of be an underdog. And you've also opened a hub. What's that about? The DocuBox Mini Hub, or, or what we're really calling the box, is a space that we're hoping is going to continue to foster a sense of community amongst um, factual filmmakers, maybe even some fictional filmmakers. We, we feel that there are just very few spaces where um, creatives and filmmakers in particular can, can come together, cross-fertilize, learn, come and watch masterclasses, uh, and also just um, have a space that they feel comfortable. Can hang out together. Yeah, yeah. And how many documentaries have been completed? Oh, despite it being um, three, three years on, we actually have the, the first six about to be completed mm. now. None of them um, completely finished yet. The uh, one project which is really interesting is, is um, Philippa and DC Herman's film, which began as a film about the port in Lamu, but, but evolved and became a story about, um, about her own life and, 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 and things that happened to her in the course of making, making the film. Is that um, the one that was crowdfunded in yes, part? Yes, she crowdfunded it in part. We supported her as well in part. Um, and I think that's what happens with, with most of these documentary films. Uh, some of the other films that, that are on our roster, we've again come in as first supporters uh, with masterclasses and with mm. bringing mentors on and with look, you know regular rough cut screening meetings. And these have gone on to, to raise other support from funds as um, as well known as Sundance and, and Hot Docs and, and IDFA. So I think the role that we play as first supporters is to, I suppose, get the filmmaker's confidence in shape and, and um, the idea of the film in good shape enough to, to attract other support. So the, going back to the film you were talking about, what, what's, the, what's the story in the film? Yeah, what began as um, just a wonderful portrait of a sleepy coastal town, Lamu, and and all and these different characters as the 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 the, the, um, the building of the port approaches actually turns into a filmmaker traveling back into herself and and um, beginning to to realize that the place is changing her so rather than going to record something that was about to change mm. she finds herself changing and actually leaves um, having converted uh, into to Islam and also having really examined um, her childhood and, and her life against this backdrop of, of Lamu. So give me another example of one that's sufficiently complete that you can, uh, in a sense, tell me more about it. Yeah, uh, another film which is um, really complete is, is Truth. Uh, I think the, the LGBTQIA movement in Nairobi, is, it, it's a sensitive mm. issue all across East Africa and many African countries as well. But the filmmaker, and I won't even mention them mm. at this point because at some point we had to ask if we, we need to, to embargo the film or, or how to protect the filmmakers should it be um, mm. overly sensitive, even though it is a documentary. Mm. Uh, is, is a story of um, a sportsman, a gay sportsman living in a, a slum in Nairobi and um, uh, his, his friends, his, his life, his family and the difficulties of just being a, a very ordinary person um, trying to simply love, have the right to love who you mm. want to love and again the filmmaker followed the story of, of these friends and, and has been you know, filming literally every month for for almost the past three and a half years, and so what you see, as 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 you see with all the DocuBox film, is is an evolution. Mm. You know where we we really Quite understand in a, in a very very well considered way mm. 
uh, the lives of the different characters that these films and and So give me another example. Another example of a film very close to reaching completion is a film called The Letter made by um, Maya Von Leko who is probably best known as a guitarist and musician and her husband Chris King. And in this film they follow a family living in along the coast of Kenya and a young rapper uh, mm. whose grandmother has been accused of, of witchcraft. And over the, the years um, that they've been filming this particular family, we really begin to understand that witchcraft isn't really a matter of superstition, but it's a matter of inheritance and economics and um, youth unemployment. And, and, and many of the attacked elders are really attacked because their families feel that they are being held back from, from mm. earning what the grannies or grandfathers are holding on to.